Disclaimer on. This video is pure for education purpose only. Please do your own research. Hi everyone, come back with us on the PuCoin Research Channel. This time we will analyze the Elon Bank token. Is this legit or scam? Check this out. Elon Bank. Current price, $5.29. Today decrease, 25.6%. 24-hour volume, $157,000. CMC rank, 4093. This token running on the BNB Smart Chain. Total supply is 143,000 tokens. And circulation is 100,000 tokens, but this is not verified. This token is only available on PancakeSwap with BNB pairing. This token was created on March 19, 2022, one month ago. Elan Bank is revolutionary financial protocol with auto staking, auto compounding, and auto liquidity mechanisms. This is a project with the same model as Libero Financial and Inu Base that I previously reviewed. All right, let's continue. Interest is paid every 15 minutes. That's 96 times daily. Fixed APY. 400,977%. Low risk offered by Elon Bank Reserves, EBR. And your wallet tokens are automatically staked and compounded. So, the mechanism is almost 100% the same as Libero or Enidbase. Auto staking, auto compounding, and auto liquidity, Elon Bank is a decentralized financial asset that uses the ELM protocol to reward investors with a sustainable fixed compound interest model paid every 15 minutes, as well as a simple buy hold earn method that increases your portfolio and your wallet at breakneck speed. And how this will work? The first, Elon Bank Reserves, EBR. The EBR is backed by a percentage of the buy and sell trading costs that accumulate and employs an algorithm to back the rebase rewards. Number 2 Elon Bank Treasury, EBT. Elon Bank's price stability and project continuity are dependent on the Treasury. It performs vitally important duties for the company's growth and long-term viability. This additional assistance might be critical in the case of a severe price shock or any other unanticipated occurrence. Number 3 Burn Pit While trading, 2.5% of it is burnt within the burn pit. The more that is exchanged, the more that burned, leading the burn pit to expand in size, greater and larger by self-fulfilling auto-compounding, limiting circulating supply, and maintaining the price. And Number 4 Auto-Compounding with a set APY of 400,977%, Elan Bank token is the highest paying auto staking and auto compounding protocol. If you invest $1,000 today, at the end of the year you may have $4,977. With notes, earnings are estimated under the assumption that the EBLM will continue to pay rebase interest for the next year. Let's try to simulate it with a calculator. If you invest only $100, you will get 19 Elon Bank tokens. And if you hold for one month, then the estimated reward you get is 37.5 tokens, that's equivalent to $200 if the token value next month is the same as today. And if you hold for 6 months, your potential return is $6,069, that means you will get a staking reward of 1,136 Elon Bank tokens. And, if you hold it for a year, your potential return is $406,831. That means you got a staking reward of 76,185 Elon Bank tokens. This is just a simulation if the token price next year is the same as today which is $5.30. And what happens if the token price next year becomes $10? Your potential return increased to $781,000, that's crazy. And, if something bad happens, next year the token price drops to 50 cents. Then your potential return is $40,000, that's still a huge profit, because the initial investment is only $100. Remember, this is under the assumption that the EBLM will continue to pay rebase interest for the next year. Their smart contracts has been audited by Interfi Network. Let's check the result. The audit summary. Solidity source code has low severity. Smart contract has an active ownership, it's mean the contract is not renounced. Centralization correlated to the active owner is medium. Important owner privileges, the owner can blacklist, auto rebase, set liquidity pool, and withdraw to treasury. 
and the smart contract utilizes Rebase. With Rebase, the circulating token supply adjusts automatically or manually according to set parameters. And the static analysis. Red circle mean the function can modify. There are many functions that can be modified including Transfer of ownership Withdrawal to treasury Set auto rebase and add liquidity And also set bot blacklist The token started trading on March 29th with a launch price of $2.10, and three days after launch there was a pump hard to $10.20, that's an increase of 368%. And after touching all-time high, there is a hard dump until it decreases to minus 68%. And there is another pump and it increases to 167%, the price is $8.80. And there is dump, from $8.80, to $4.20. And currently there is a slight increase, plus 23.4%. But for initial holders, they still profit 144%. Swap analysis. Buy and sell transaction is normal, the token is sellable, no indication of honeypot for now. About the tax, buy tax is 14%. And sell tax is 16%. Let's check the contract. Contract source is verified. This is their burn token address, they call it burn pit, and this is not the official burn address for dead wallet. Auto rebase is enabled. Auto liquidity is enabled. And the smart contract is in a personal wallet, that means the ownership is not renounced. Swap analysis results. There is no indication of a honeypot for now, but no guarantee for the future, because the contract is not renounced, developers can change the function of the smart contract including disable trading and blacklist wallet. Buy and sell 14 to 16%, that's high tax. This is not suitable if you are a short term holder, because you will lose a total of 20% of the total supply for one buy and sell transaction. The holder analysis. There is no supply allocation in their white paper. This is not good. The initial 100,000 supply sent to deployer wallet. 5% supply sent to this wallet. I don't know what this allocation is for. 81% supply is sent to this wallet, let's check. 30% supply is used for liquidity in pancake swap. And there are 641 transactions here. Another 5% supply is sent to this wallet. There is a multi-center dot app here, I think this is an airdrop event. And the total of 2476 participants here. There are 4153 transactions here, that means half of them are airdrop participants. 12.8% supply is in the burn pit wallet. This is a top private wallet, containing 2.8% supply. There is a transaction for multi-send dot app, this is developer's wallet. I tried to check random wallet. This is the wallet owned by the investor, it gets supply from the swap on PancakeSwap. Holder analysis results. There is no private wallets that have supply above 5%, that's good. But I didn't find any information about token distribution, of course this has the potential to be manipulated. The last, liquidity analysis. The market cap is very low. $770,000 and liquidity availability 306 BNB 11.1% .1 of total liquidity is in this wallet this is a liquidity receiver wallet the amount of liquidity and will continue to grow with each transaction and because the liquidity in this wallet is already more than 5% it must be locked immediately 89.2% liquidity is locked in pink lock let's check how long Liquidity locked for a year, until March 28, 2023, that's good. Liquidity analysis results. Availability of liquidity, it's safe. 89.2% of liquidity has been locked for one year, but because it is below 95%, it cannot be said to be safe. 
11.1% liquidity on the receiver's wallet, as it is unlocked and potentially rug pull, it should be locked immediately. Because it's a rebase token, I think price prediction using this method is irrelevant. You can use the calculator in their app to help with price simulation. Alright. My conclusion. There are two pros and three cons to this project. The pros. This project provides high fixed APY, 400,977%, if it goes according to plan, with an investment of $100 you can buy a Lambo next year. And the second pro, their smart contract has been audited by the Interfi network, this is proof that the developer is transparent, I appreciate this. And, the cons. Firstly, 11.1% of liquidity in receiver wallet liquidity is not locked yet, and it should be locked immediately, if possible today. Second cons, there is no information for the initial distribution of tokens, I think this has the potential to be manipulated, maybe a white paper update is needed. And the third cons, just like Libero Financial and Inubase, a project like this is a new model, and has not been tested to withstand hyperinflation, so be careful. That is my personal analysis of the Elon Bank token. The analysis I use is based on blockchain transaction data. If you have any requests and questions, comment below. See you on next analysis, goodbye.